Hello mate and welcome to our Unity VN series. So if you remember from our last episode we added the label and jump functionality. In this episode I want to do something a little bit more fundamental to what we're trying to achieve and that is we are going to create a script file which is going to allow us to move all of our commands into a simple text document and then we don't need to mess around with anything else. So the first thing we want to do is we want to jump into our editor and in our resources folder we're actually going to create a new folder and we're going to call it script. Nice and easy, just get rid of that extra character, there we go and then inside that and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a text file using notepad and if we jump back into our code editor all of this stuff in here is now going to go into our text file so we're going to copy that and then we're going to jump into our text file and we're going to paste it what we're also going to do is we're going to remove any unnecessary tabbing or anything like that And then we're going to drag that script file into Unity like so. And as you can see, there we go, it's created the script. And now if we double click on that, it'll actually open it in our code editor so that we can see it in all its glory. So that's the first stage of what we're trying to achieve. So now what we need to do is jump into our input decoder and we need to add some stuff to our loading script. So where we come down to the bottom where we're actually reading script, and this is where we need to do some more things. So going to prepend to everything and what we're going to say is text asset command file command file equals resources dot load and we're going to just put file underscore path in here because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get a string here called file path and this will make sense momentarily what I want to do next is say as a text asset so that unity knows what we're doing then we're going to say command array and we're going to read into this array command file dot text dot split and we're going to use a carriage return or a new line as our split. And then we're going to say for each bar line in command array. Yeah. Commands dot add line okay so to clarify what we've done there we've created a text asset and we've loaded into our into our input decoder a file path as yet to be determined and we're loading that in as a text asset then we are taking an array of come of, of text and we're filling it with each line of that array basically Every time we get a carriage return, it appends, it creates a new member of that array. So we end up with a list of all of the lines of code in our script. We then scroll through each line and we add them to our commands, which is, of course, the list that we've been using all along. Cool. Now, when we jump back into our testing script, which we need to reload, so we go into there, I'm here. Now, what we need to do is we actually need to, to determine what our command our, our file path is going to be and we're simply going to say script script nice and easy 
now we can actually remove all of this bump from the start altogether. And we just get rid of that extra line as well. Now, now we're telling Unity this is where the file is. It's contained within the script folder inside our resources folder. And its name is script. It's then going to load that file and then it's going to scroll through that file line by line and add each line to another member in our commands list, which is basically what we've been doing all along. And now we're not manually doing it from the start method of our testing script. We're now just calling the read script function and telling it where to look, where the file is. Now, this is where things start getting interesting because basically what we've now done is because all of our variables are now contained within the input decoder file all we're doing essentially is we're creating an object which says check this file for all of the commands that i want you to do and then execute them so if we're able to move most of this functionality out of this class as well then we could be in a situation where we we have the ability to cut create cutscenes using a visual novel style of interface in any other kind of game as well. So this isn't just limited to creating visual novels, this could actually be useful as a dialogue system for some other type of game as well. So now, realistically, what we should be able to do is run our script. And then as you can see, it's still saying this is some text, this is some more text, this is even more text. And then it clears our image layers when it gets to the final command and one last thing that i recommend doing is if you take your script file and i'm just going to put end or the word end at the end of our script and that just gives the text file an ending basically so we know where the end is we might actually add some end functionality further down the line so as you can see i've just removed some of the um extra characters and i've just tidied up our script file a little bit and then I'm going to come back into my editor and I'm going to run and what we should see is that we get our fade in effect, we get this is some text, click again, this is some more text, this is even more text, click again, as you can see it goes back to the start and after three seconds it removes the additional image layers and we end up with precisely what we're meant to have after three seconds so on and so forth so now we have the ability to read our commands from a text file we no longer need to have the lengthy setup that we had in our testing script so as you can see now our start simply says hey input decoder read the script at this file location in the resources folder and then boom it goes ahead and does all of the rest of the work for us and then the only thing the testing script does after that is it waits for a key down of H to hide the interface, or it just basically tells the input decoder to move on commands when the criteria for such are met. Hope you found that useful, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will see you in the next one, but until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye.